Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. <laughs> and we've got the old boat out again. <laughs> Let's do another boat painting. And uh, this time I'm going to have the boat. So I've done all these ideas. And uh, although you can't really see the boat as well as, uh, as I could earlier. It sort of melted away a bit, but... Yeah, it's just the shape of the boat there, and uh, I did a few, and I quite like this one, actually. I mean, I like I like that one as well. I like the idea of a this sort of sun that's just next to the uh, the sail. Kind of like that idea, but then I did this, and I thought, ah, let's go full boat right in the middle of the sun <laughs> coming up really bright and then have like this land and I, I kind of did a bit of French coast there <laughs> it's a painting that I painted years ago a really awful painting but I remember uh, the shape of the rock so I thought that was quite good and then I just messed around doing the boat imagining the wind hitting it or whether it's static and uh yeah, so I'm going to do something like this one. Just go for it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so I'll just move that out of the way. I've, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll stand it up again. I did before. Oh, yes, I stood it up without it falling over. <laughs> what a genius. Right. Gonna go with the big brush, the big old, the big old one inch graduate brush. And I'm gonna get myself this uh, magenta -y type color. It's almost like an alizarin crimson, it's actually that. Um, it's a violet. I would, I would say it, but <laughs> I've tried to say this before, quinacridone violet, something like that. So I got that from London when I was in London. I'm sure you could get it quite easily. Yeah, look how strong it is. Beautiful colour. So, let's load this page up with this. This is our main colour. I don't mind the paper showing through on this in areas, to be honest. It doesn't have to be a fully dark blocking and can be uh, a little bit transparent in areas I don't mind that a bit to about there maybe maybe a bit more just grab it a bit more colour Be about there. Okay. Now, what I might do while it's still uh, wet, I'll grab some yellows. Got some. Uh, I'm in yellow and there's some I threw in some of the yellow in there <laughs> it's a, a, a light cadmium yellow light or something like that throw that them two together so we've got our um, sun I went for here I 
Something like that. So we're going to paint our boat within that. And then we've got the light that comes down. Like that. So we'll just let that sort of um, melt into it a bit. Sort of imagine the shape, the roundness. Something like that. I'll let that sort of dry a little bit. Um, I quite like the way it looks with the yellow mixed into the uh, the base colour. So what I might do is have some of this in the whole thing. Quite nice to mix it the two together. It gives it a bit more of a uh, nice, a nicer look to it, I think. And then I can come back with more of this yellow. And some white. And I can go back to my uh, shape, which is like this. base out there we go that's not too bad that's quite nice actually and then uh, start putting in this as well that light on the water I'll let that dry now while that's drying because we'll put another layer on top a little bit thicker but while that is drying I'm going to get some uh, of the burnt umber and with the red maybe a bit of the yellow on it as well 
I'll put in this rock. Yeah, it needs to be darker than that. Gonna put a little bit of a reflection in of that and the water. Let me go a little bit darker. finger okay this is quite dramatic isn't it <laughs> just wash my brush a bit so what I want Some, I need some more white, so I'm just going to open my little box, magic box, get some more white. Just picking it up on my brush like that, and I'll put it on my palette. And then I also want some more like yellow. I'll pick some of that up. Put that on my plate, and then I'm going to accidentally paint the side of the table. <laughs> Rips. Right. So now I've got some. Uh, fresh paint I can properly pick it up white and yellow what I might do actually is paint the boat in before I uh, slosh in the colour but then I will do the outside bit first just so I can get the feel of it so we've got the, uh, I might turn it, I find I've got a, uh, a better circle this way around, <laughs> so I'll go like that, with my hand. see that I'm going to turn it upside down because like I said I've got the better Mm. 
No, I can see that it's not quite right. Not too bad. I'm just going to put a little bit over overlap there. It's not too bad. I might just paint this all in actually and put the, the uh, put the boat on top. Keep it nice and warm. Keep that cadmium, cadmium yellow flowing. Make sure we've got the. There we go. Not too bad, it's quite hard to uh, paint a circle. <laughs> it's not bad. Just want to soften that edge. That'll do. I'm not going to get this perfect. <laughs> you can try. We try. So I'm going to have the light going across here, across here, across there. Don't break the. Uh, The area of light though. Just can't go beyond that. That's the maximum, so keep it like that. Okay, might have a little bit on the uh, on the rock, just for uh, just for make it different, make it look a bit different than just because otherwise it's just going to be dark and that's going to be a little bit a bit boring. So I'll use I'm going to use a bit of the uh, bit of that and a bit of the yellow colour and make almost a peachy colour. Just so certain areas that's here can have a bit of light hitting it. Maybe on the inside of this. And then we can put that in the water as well. And we can use a little bit of the uh, that pinky colour and with some white. That pinky colour and white, and we can use that as the water line for this area. A few uh, marks. I 
Not too much though. That should uh, dull a little bit, has it? Okay, something like that. You do whatever you like. Just uh, just making stuff up, really. Because <laughs> this really, it'd be just black, wouldn't it? There'd be no, there'd be nothing. So the next thing I want, I want the boat. So I might use. A little bit of the the red and the brown because I think it'd be quite good if it's a reddish color because of the sun blasting out shoe looking at my boat my model boat <laughs> and uh, looking at my image so I had the boat not that big and had it quite central right about there about there and then I've got the sail I wanted one of the sails to be like let's put that mast in one of the sails I was going to have going like this the sail and, uh, quite dramatic <laughs> and then we're just going to put this in the water people in there as well, might as well, someone there, maybe there's someone stood here in the boat, he's uh, looking for his telescope over there, it's like there's the, uh, the land, let's get out of this uh, hot spot. <laughs> Can get a little bit of that peachy colour that I made for the uh, the highlights. I'm going to put some on this actually as well, just to cut down some of that brightness I mean that darkness a flag there <laughs> it's quite good to have uh, dark but sometimes <laughs> sometimes you want it to be lighter <laughs> I kind of like the uh, 
the way that looks actually. I'm not sure if I want to add anything because it, the way the paint is laid is quite interesting as it is. I think the only thing that I would like I wouldn't mind I think maybe there should be some dark marks just like delicate water in there where there's a wave here and there's a wave there some areas and a few more That's quite an interesting, uh, interesting one. A bit different to the last one. A yellow on that, on that rock. Would be pretty cool, actually, if the sun. has blasted itself onto some bird here and you can see the, the wings have been lit up There's a bird actually on there, perched on there. Had a few uh, straight strokes in amongst this. Yeah, I think I'll call this one finished. This is the boat, it's looking out across there, the land. Maybe it's the scene where they've made it home. <laughs> they've made it back after a long journey somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, thanks very much for watching this episode. Let me know what you thought of the original idea, whether you were, maybe you would have painted one of the other ones. And feel free, if you want to have a go, just take a screenshot of the, uh, the small image, and then you can develop it yourself in your painting. <laughs> but there's my attempt. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.